show them asses today. Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Monica Janae. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back, y'all. Miss Monica is tired today. Okay, Miss Monica is tired today. I'm at work now. I'm sitting in the car because I cut my car now. I cut my car to take a break. I come and I give me a peace of mind because there's no way I'm going to sit in the building with kids and get a peace of mind. The, the school where I work at is so small. It's small that you really don't have a space to really like, <laughs> really don't have a space to like, to like, you know, chill, like, you know, like a quiet space or whatever. Because, of course, you know, if you've been watching, you know, I'm subbing right now. So, I don't have an office anymore like I used to. I don't have a classroom, which I never had a classroom. But I don't have an office. So, I don't have nowhere to, like, go and chill. So, I just come back to my car, which I'm okay with. That's just less responsibility for me. <sighs> but, yeah, man, the kids, were they have been on a 20 today. Not on a 10, but a 20. Oh, my God, my salad spilled over. So I just went down the street, y'all, uh, got me a um a wrap. Dang. I walked down the street. I went and got me a wrap. And it came with like a little pasta salad. I might try this pasta salad out. It's like an Asian salad. Oh, this is good. I need a little more seasoning. Y'all, it's going to be a very eventful weekend. I got a wedding. Um, I got a wedding tomorrow. I mean, um, Saturday. It's Thursday. Today is the last day of school because the kids here, this is a private school that I'm at, and they get a full fall break, like a whole week off. So they're going to be off for the week, which is exciting for them. I don't know if that's too much stuff for me because I'm going to send money, but that's, it's still, you know, it's still good. And plus, I'm going out of town. I'm going to see my family next week same day next week at this time i'll be back in new jersey see my family and yeah so that's i mean that's it's all good for me you know what i'm saying but yeah i am exhausted these kids show they behind today i ain't never in my life but before i leave anybody out there y'all comment down below has, does anybody else still get on Instagram? Because I feel like Instagram has just like completely fallen off. Like, I think everything started to look the same that it started to become boring. And the fact that they're trying to compete with TikTok. Okay. I will give an Instagram that they did take out Vine. Because I just like looking at Vine. Instagram did take out Vine. They, they took them out because they started adding video. You know, you could get video, watch videos on Instagram. And that kind of knocked Vine out of, you know, kind of knocked them out of the spot. It wasn't even a competition anymore because Vine used to give you six seconds to to do a video. And then Instagram gave you like a 15 second video. So that kind of pushed Vine out of the spot. So then TikTok comes along. TikTok, of course, was to me was more of like a kids app because I remember a lot of kids, used to, you know, they used to talk about TikTok and they used to dance and do that kind of stuff, whatever. So now TikTok has started to become more of the larger social media platform i don't think it's still bigger than like youtube but it's definitely like it's definitely um competition with instagram and i feel like right now instagram cannot compete with um tiktok because now like people that were on instagram and instagram just has like this aesthetic like it's just you know what i'm saying it's like very clean like everybody is so perfect on instagram and it's like you go tiktok people can just be themselves and I feel like that's what people need now because the climate that we live in Instagram is just not it right now Instagram is very fabricated and that I mean it's nice to see that type of content because it helps you escape the things that you are dealing with but at the same time you have to also remember we're in a reality and you just have to kind of remember we're this is a reality this is just this is just kind of life you know what I'm saying so I feel like people um, are really more gravitated towards TikTok, but you also have like um, 
you know, the people that's on Instagram, they kind of can't keep up anymore and they're not getting that, their algorithm is like kind of screwed up and then they're not really getting the, um, they're not getting the engagement anymore they're not getting the views the likes because it's just how the algorithm is and now they're trying to get a tiktok but tiktok is too tiktok does not have that same aesthetic as instagram so now people are just like trying to fit into instagram and they can't because they don't know how to be them authentic selves like i you know what i'm saying like i tried the instagram thing you know what i'm saying because i was like well this is the content that people are doing but honestly i just like forget it forget it forget it you know what i'm saying because that's not really what i do you know what i'm saying i was doing things that i normally do but i just feel like trying to keep up doing that content which is not me so i eased up off of that um tiktok just that's just not where it's at like i see people bring their content that they do from instagram to tiktok and um that's where people bring their Instagram to TikTok and it just don't it still does not reach the same audience, does not get the views that they're that they would normally have with that they would have normally gotten on Instagram. So I don't know. T Instagram, I'm I'm thinking TikTok is starting to take Instagram out. Instagram gonna have to come hard because them trying to do exactly what TikTok do, it does is not working because Instagram was a photo app. So I feel like they should go back to doing that because I did like posting pictures on Instagram, but they trying to compete and that's just they just doing way too much. They doing too much. I don't even see the IGTV anymore. I don't know if that still exists. I'm guessing it does, but they really want you to do rep like their thing right now is to push reels. They're they're pushing reels and they want you to do reels. I don't know, but yeah. Um, I just had to come back and say that because I just, you know, I had kind of start noticing that, um, you know, between the two apps. But, yeah. Mm. But anyway, I'm going to um, go ahead and eat my food because my food getting cold. And I will see y'all later on. I'm going to just take a break. Hey, good morning. It is the next day what's up y'all if you're looking at my hair no it's not done it hasn't been done and like um it's been a minute i took my braids out y'all i don't normally like i try to keep my hair done like i try to keep my hair done because i'm just not one of those people like to get up in the morning doing hair now um when i had my hair like i only had a sew in one time one time i had a sew in um and that was like the only time i really like wore well and i wore a wig once but i got a sew in one time and i was okay with getting up doing my hair that's probably like the only time i was ever ever okay with getting up doing my hair because all i would do was just take out rollers and you know like finger comb my hair and go on by my day but I haven't done anything like that and I've been wanting to I don't want to I don't want to know sewing because I don't know it's just like I don't like I thought about it I was like you have to get your hair tightened every time you get your sewing in. you have to go back and get that you know get your own hair kind of tight back up or whatever and I don't I don't know how I feel about that I don't know how I feel about going back um doing that like what every two weeks or something like that so that's kind of out of the question so it's just like what's left for me to do is get braids um i don't know about doing the whole clipping not clipping excuse me the um tapings or whatever i just don't know if that's meant for me to be getting no tapings i just feel like it, it probably won't take my hair out but i feel like it'll be damaging because with tapings more than likely i'll be straightening my hair unless i find tapings that are somewhat um like close enough to my um texture of hair but it's still i feel like it's not gonna look right so it's just like i'm stuck right there and it's like i don't want to always get braids like i want to be able to wear my hair out like i want to be able to wear other styles other than braids but right now i'm gonna get my hair braided because i got a lot of stuff going on and i just don't know how it will be me trying to get up doing my hair like i'm going out of town next week um with my family and i know they're gonna have me working constantly crazy just around the clock working so i'm like uh, and then i got a wedding saturday it's friday and i got wait tomorrow 
and I be running around, running and ripping, and my hair is not tamed. So more likely it's going to frizz up, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's gonna be kind of warm tomorrow. Cause I looked at the weather and it's gonna be kind of warm and I'm kind of mad. Cause I am mad. Cause I, I want it to be cold, cool, cold. Cause I'm like, this is a fall wedding. Why, why I gotta be high? Why I gotta be in the 80s? So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, thank God I don't get my hair done. So I gotta worry about that, you know, and it, you know, flying all over, you know, all the flyaways because it's not tamed and it just frizzes up and it's just a mess. So I'm gonna get my hair ready. I know that was a long spill, but I'm just kind of sick of just, I mean, like I like getting braids because it's easy, but I also want to wear my hair in other styles. Like I just haven't mastered the wig thing yet. So I just, you know, I don't know about the wigs. I was thinking about doing wigs with bangs, you know what I'm saying? Like getting a wig, cause I used to always wear my hair in a bang. And I was like, maybe a bang, maybe a bang on a wig would be okay. Like get a wig, you know what I'm saying? Get something. And, you know get something um that looks like really natural and um maybe do a bang maybe get one with a bang and then just let somebody like kind of shape it to my face or whatever i don't know but yeah that's that's what it is but um yeah i'm uh, probably about 20 minutes away from where i'm supposed to be at to get my hair done so i'm just gonna drive because i can't see my sunglasses and my sunglasses out. And yeah, I will uh, see y'all once I get my hair braided. So when I come back, my hair will be braided. Good morning, what's up? Um, my face is probably kind of crusty, ashy. Um, I'm about to go ahead and start getting ready. Um, Cause uh, I have to go out of town and I just want to get there early. I kinda wish I could have stopped in some stores. I really wanted to stop to like some clothing stores or something like that, just to uh, look around. Maybe I can go back sometime uh, next week, but I'm going out of town, so I don't know. I don't figure it out. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go get ready. I, I, would, I wore last week. I'm gonna wear it again this week. What's she talking about? I'm already talking about, I'm already talking about vlog. What you eating this early in the morning? That ain't, you ain't even cracked the egg. I ain't healthy. Either. Don't drink up everything. Cause you done drunk up everything. We ain't even got no water. But yeah, um, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna get ready. Wait, I'm gonna get ready in about 30 minutes. I might uh, eat a little breakfast. I might eat a bagel real quick. Drink this coffee and go get ready. And y'all can see my hair because it does look really, really good. Look, they made them small. I went to the Africans and they made them a little bit smaller than what I wanted. I wanted them a little bit bigger, but it's all good. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Like this for real. Thank you, baby. So it's future me. Um, if you just watched the, the last um, clips, I was at a wedding. I had a wedding to work this weekend. I was filming. Um, it was nice. It was fun. Um, so a little bit about what happened um, Saturday. Um, went to a wedding, got there. And the wedding, like I was a little confused because like I said before, if you've been watching, I will Google uh, I will go on Google Maps, find out where I'm going to be going, like where's the location, like what it look like, because I got to make sure I'm going to be safe. And so when I went to Google Maps and like I did last week, I had a wedding. I went to Google Maps, did the same thing. It's almost as though these locations didn't show up on the map. And I kind of got a little bit nervous because I'm like, well, these are not like 
um buildings like um like businesses so i was just like real confused so even when i tried to zoom in because you know you can zoom in on google maps i tried to zoom in i couldn't i didn't see what it was i couldn't see so when i got there it was a house um and I was a little bit confused. I was like a slightly confused because I looked across the street from where the house was and there was um, chairs set up. And it was like, you know, like, you know, look like, you know, an altar and everything. And I was like, oh, that looks nice. I'm like, so I'm, I'm still confused. So I get to where I was going. It was a house. Um, I pulled in and got into the door <laughs> and he was like, yeah, what are you doing? Here? And I was just like, it's this is what i'm looking for and he's like yeah yeah, yeah here i was like okay so you know i started seeing people all over the place i was just like is this someone's house or is this like an airbnb i was i wasn't sure and come to find out it was it was um this bride's it was her brother i mean her brother excuse me her husband's um brothers was this brother yeah her, her husband's brother's house him and his family with this house so they had their wedding at the house and I was like, money saver? So what they did was, because, you know, when you live in a neighborhood, you pay um, HOA fees. So they used uh, like a cabana um, area of the um, <clears throat> subdivision they lived in. And I mean, y'all, it looks so nice. I was like, y'all did this. Y'all, they really did it. So they used that. And then the backyard of their house, of the family's house, they set it up as a reception. They had caterer, that caterer set up. Like, it was nice. I was like, and the house was, it was a, it was a big house. It was a family size house. Um, it was a, it was a big house because they had a, a movie theater in the inside of their house. So it was a, it was a um, nice size house or whatever, but it was a family, it's a family that lives there. So it's like, I don't know how many of them it is, but it's quite a few. So it makes sense to have a house that size. But I was just like, People just coming in. Well, I was walking in and out, but you know, I was just like a little bit confused. But it turned out fine. It turned out nice. Um, uh, I'm trying to think what else. Um, I was just, I was shocked, like how they, they really had made this work. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna probably consider like maybe starting like an event hall or something like that. Like that would be a nice business, cause they did it. Like they did it. They had a dance floor and everything. So the bride, <laughs> um. A little bit about her is she was Jamaican and it was so funny because everybody was like using what you think Jamaican of course first thing you're gonna think if you've never been to Jamaica or if you don't really if you don't know Jamaicans or anything like that you're gonna assume they're like just black but if you're from Jamaica like it doesn't matter what your um like what your ethnicity or whatever where you were born like if you're, if you're Asian if you're Indian like if you were born in Jamaica you're Jamaican that's just how they see it so it was just all different shades and like I was just trying to figure out what she was at first and she told me and I was like okay 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 yeah I see I see I see I understand I got it but yeah they was dancing baby they was shaking them boom booms it was getting down so I was laughing but I was like yeah them people were having a good time like they turned that party up they turned that wedding up okay but yeah overall fun experience um this is definitely different because I've never had a backyard wedding before and it actually turned out really nice so yeah that was cool um yeah that was good so next thing um i'm gonna let you watch the clips of me going to the apple orchard i'll let you watch those first and then i will be back to tell you about what happened Don't you watch the apple orchard um watch me going to the apple orchard excuse me um i had a blast okay um i love going into the mountains it was hot yesterday i live in the south it was hot um so when i went to the mountains it felt so good because it was hot because it was kind of warmer today but when i went to the mountains baby it was feeling good okay it felt so good um it was fun going to the orchards i was like going um i don't know wherever you live 
if you got apple orchards around you go if that's if they have like the little farms and stuff like that i don't know uh i'm from new jersey and they have apple orchards but i don't remember them having like the farm like where you got stores and they sell food and um you can pick your own apples they did have you could pick your own apples i didn't do it because i didn't know they was still it was still in season i thought it was out of season but yeah it's things to do blast okay always it's always fun i just like going and seeing like the scenery because you can see the mountains in the back now me being from jersey they don't have no mountains in the back of the apple orchards it's not like that oh it's different but <laughs> the apple orchards while i've been now are up in the mountains and like i said the scenery well at least this one orchard i went to it's like up in the mountains like you can see the mountain view it is the bomb that's why it's in the place it's called sky top so now i understand why it's called sky top but yes it is nice it is probably one of the bigger orchards in the mountains there are like tons of them but to me this is the best one um i went to one last year i went to my mom and that one was it was okay it was nice it was nice but it just don't hit like sky top so much sky top um what else what else what else that was it that was it blast fun yes fun but um yeah anyway um I'm going to end this vlog because I want to start another vlog and then I want to start another vlog because I'm trying to I'm trying to be consistent because I'm not really consistent because I'm working and I'm doing filming and I got to edit and it's just a lot of work. So, I mean, I'm trying to balance and keep my head screwed on tight <sighs> in the name of Jesus. But I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here and I will see you guys in my next video. Keep your eyes out because I'm going to go out of town and I'm going to be with my family and they're going to show out. So you get to see them acting crazy. Anyway, I will see you in my next video. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on and leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.